Have you ever been walking down a flight of stairs, confident and steady, only to suddenly stumble on the very last step, almost like the floor played a prank on you? What you may have just experienced is something more common than you might think. Why some staircases have an uneven last step. While it might feel like a construction mistake, there's actually more to it than meets the eye. Let's walk through it, one step at a time, right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start by understanding what we mean by uneven last step. In a well-designed staircase, the rise, that's the vertical height between each step, should be consistent all the way up or down. But sometimes, the last step, whether it's the first one at the bottom or the final one at the top, is either too tall or too short compared to the rest. Humans walk stairs in a kind of autopilot mode. Once we climb a few steps, our brains and muscles lock into a pattern. If every step is, say, seven inches high, we start to expect that each step after will be exactly the same. So when the final one is just an inch off, higher or lower, it catches us off guard. And even though an inch might seem tiny, that difference is more than enough to trip us up. One major culprit is flooring installation after the stairs are built. Picture this. A construction crew builds a staircase and gets the dimensions perfect. But after that, someone decides to install new flooring, maybe a thick layer of tile or hardwood, right at the base of the stairs or at the top landing. This raises the level of the floor by even half an inch, creating a height discrepancy with that last step. You might be thinking, why not adjust for that during construction? And in ideal situations, they would. But in many real-world projects, communication gaps between trades, like carpenters and flooring installers, can lead to miscalculations these oversights can result in a last step that no longer aligns with the rest of the staircase. Another common reason is renovations. When buildings get updated, especially older homes, it's not uncommon for floors to be leveled or raised. But the staircases, which were originally built for a different floor height, are often left untouched. That mismatch leads to, you guessed it, an uneven step at the top or bottom. Even in new constructions, things like slab settling or structural shifts can slightly change the dimensions of a staircase over time. Though these shifts are usually small, even minor changes in the rise of a single step can make a staircase feel uncomfortable or even unsafe. That's why getting the design and construction just right from the start is so important. Even a tiny difference, just a quarter of an inch, can throw off a person's natural walking rhythm, making stairs feel awkward or even dangerous. To keep things safe, it's just as important to regularly check and maintain staircases, especially in buildings where settling is likely. Now here's where it gets really interesting. Some experts believe that these last step inconsistencies are also due to the last step illusion. This is a psychological phenomenon where our brains are so locked into the rhythm of stepping that any deviation at the end feels more dramatic than it really is. Our perception of the last step being higher or lower might be slightly exaggerated by our expectation of how it should feel. Still, whether it's real or perceived, that moment of imbalance matters. And we've all been there, especially when we're distracted, in a hurry, or carrying something bulky. 
That's why architects and builders are encouraged to be meticulous about step measurements, especially at the beginning and end of a staircase. There's also a more subtle factor, building design constraints. Sometimes the available space forces designers to make tricky choices. Maybe the height between floors isn't evenly divisible by the standard step rise. Let's say the total floor-to-floor -floor height is 105 inches and you want each step to be 7 inches. That gives you 15 perfect steps. But what if the space only allows for 14 steps? Now, each one would have to be 7.5 inches or one of them will need to be slightly off. In older buildings, staircases might have been built before modern codes were in place. Back then, builders relied more on intuition and hand tools and less on laser levels and measuring software. The result? Slight inconsistencies that have stood the test of time but might trip you up today. Some uneven steps are also the result of human error. Simple mistakes in measurement or miscuts that weren't corrected before installation. These errors often go unnoticed until the stairs are actually in use. By then, correcting them would mean tearing the whole thing down. Not an easy fix. But here's the hopeful part. As awareness grows, more architects and builders are prioritizing stair safety and uniformity. Technology helps too. Digital tools now allow for precise measurements and modeling before anything is physically built, reducing the margin for error. Building codes are stricter, and more inspectors are trained to spot the kinds of inconsistencies that lead to these last step stumbles. In the end, that one pesky step isn't just a tripping hazard. It's a reminder of how even the smallest design details matter. From construction oversights to psychological tricks, the uneven last step tells a story of how we interact with our built environment. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.